guys and welcome to my channel. I am going to cook some cookies for you this morning and they are called Christmas Cake Batter Cookies. This is one of my favorite cookies um, that me and my daughter started making a few years ago at Christmas time. No, you do not hear Christmas music in the background for effects. You hear Mickey Mouse because my son is watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. But anyway, I want to make these cookies for you today and give you a couple of tips along the way that um, I found from sallysbakingaddiction.com. I will link the link below of this actual blog post with her tips and her recipe, but I'm gonna share them with you today and make them for you for Vlogmas. So let's make some cookies. So here are the ingredients. It is flour, a vanilla or yellow, I think vanilla is the recommended cake mix, salt and baking soda, sugar, one and a half sticks of butter at room temperature, brown sugar, vanilla, chocolate morsels, oh, chocolate morsels, white chocolate morsels, and Christmas confetti. Let's get started. All right, let's turn the stove on to 350 and let it preheat. My kitchen's really a mess, or I would show you around, but let me show you just a couple of the decorations I have for Christmas. I mainly just got some towels that I've picked up, some Christmas towels, as well as these I got at Target. I think they're so cute. We have yourself on my little Christmas. Um, I have a couple things up here. And I have my wreath at night. It has lights, battery offered lights. So that's all I have in my kitchen is for Christmas. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start, while the oven is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing everything up. Okay, so I'm going to use my bowl from my KitchenAid mixer. That's what I'll be using today. I am a little different. I don't mix my dry and my wet together, uh, separate and then together. I tend to just do them... Um, Step, uh, together so that's just the way I do it you can do it how you want it but that's how I do it um, so I'll mix all my dry ingredients and then I'll mix my wet ingredients with it so we need one and a half one and a fourth cup of flour I'm really not much of a baker. My daughter is the baker, and her aunt, they love to bake cookies and cakes and cupcakes and Amen. all that kind of stuff. I'm really not that big a fan of baking, um, but, you know, it's Christmas, and you should, everybody should bake some cookies on Christmas. Now, the yellow, the cake mix, I'm just going to take one cup and a fourth cup out of this. Not the whole, not the whole cake mix goes into it. There's one. You hear my husband back there playing with baby. That's just the way we're rolling today. Wonderful background noise, son. Wonderful. I don't know if you know this, but if your brown sugar is really, really firm and you can't hardly, you know, get it to to come out, you can put this in the microwave for just um, 20, 30 seconds and it'll loosen it all up. Had to do that before. That's all of my dry ingredients, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that in my kitchen mixer. No, no, you can't go outside. That's my dry ingredients. Let me mark these off so I don't get confused. I need the butter, actually, see, sugar, brown sugar. Okay, 
kind of grab some of the bottom so I'm actually just kind of making sure that there's nothing down here in this bottom crevice that I always have a problem with these bowls because of that bottom crevice making sure it's all mixed up good before I put the sprinkles and the chips in okay it looks pretty good I am going to go grab the chocolate chips and the sprinkles. Now, we're gonna do a half a cup of the dark chocolate chip, or the milk chocolate, I like milk. And we're gonna, like I said, there's plenty extra for another batch. I mean, plenty. I'm gonna do a half a cup. I prefer the milk. And then a half a cup of the white chocolate chips. And half a cup of sprinkles. Okay, I thought these were white and they're not. <laughs> so just a cup of dark. Now, Ideally, they'd be pretty if you did a half a cup of white and a half a cup of dark. But I goofed and bought white, both dark, so that's okay. Some goodies. Okay. Some of this I may have to do with my hand just because to work all those ingredients in. stuck to the, as you can tell, it's pretty much stuck to the thing. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to take this off. I'm not worry about it. There we go. have to have some major editing it's pretty long okay in the oven but I want to share with you the tips off of Sally's bakingaddiction.com hopefully she doesn't mind that I'm using this in my video but I am gonna give her credit she talked about um, that some people add an egg yolk to make um, cookies extra you know moist and gooey and chewy and so but she did not use an egg yolk for this recipe she took it out because it already was had plenty of gooey and chewy appeal I think 
Number two is don't overload your cookie with lots of chocolate chips and sprinkles and stuff. She pulled back a little bit on those because the cookie, if it's too dense and it's too heavy, it will not stand up. It'll just become flatter. So do your maximum capacity, but don't overload it. Number three, a must is to chill the dough. If you take these cookies straight to the oven, they're gonna be flat as a pancake. And me and Chelsea have, have perfected this. We learned this from her website. And we also, number four, make tall stacks. So I'm getting ready to show you how to make the tall stacks right now. And then I'm gonna stick them in the freezer and we're gonna wait for probably at least 20 or 30 minutes. The longer you can wait, they could even be frozen. So I'm gonna put you down, maybe. It's almost his nap time. And let me show you how I make my tall stacks. And I'm gonna put them in the freezer This is how tall we make our stacks. And just trust me, they're not gonna they're not gonna cook that tall. They're gonna fall into nice big thick cookies. Now I'll freeze them like this, and then I'll just take them straight to the um no, no. So honestly, you probably could start preheating your oven after you make these and put them in the freezer. put these in there a little bit longer but they're, they're good enough we'll, we'll put them on a plate I mean, on here. than that but um here's my cookies it's pretty much a cake here's my last tip don't put them too close together um i think i didn't give them enough room and so they are a little flat but anyway thanks for watching and you guys have a good day i'll see you tomorrow